So people have finally got their hands on Starfield and the reviews are looking, well, pretty good. I've seen a couple downsides but for the most part people seem to really be enjoying Bethesda's latest game and today I wanted to talk about that. So I won't be getting my hands on Starfield until the 6th with Game Pass. To be honest I just didn't buy it for the early access. To me it didn't seem worth it to spend $100 just to get it 6 days early when I'll get it for free with Game Pass. So I was just like you know what? I'll miss out on this one, I'll wait a few days and get my hands on it later down the line. But the one benefit of this is I'm seeing all people's reviews come in now. I'm obviously looking for spoiler free ones, but for the most part, people seem pretty happy with the game, which gets me excited. Again, everything I'm talking about in this video isn't my opinion, this is me just bouncing off what other people have said, so take it all with a pinch of salt, I'll have my own opinions going forward of course. But so far the consensus is, it's exactly what you'd expect a Bethesda game to be in space, which to be honest is exactly kind of what I wanted. Basically just a Bethesda game set in space. People have been saying that the quests are basically the highlight of the game, which I love to hear. I mean, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game without some absolutely solid quests. And a lot of people are saying it's basically the best part of the game, which would be fun. All the scenery and planets I've seen people land on look absolutely beautiful. A couple of them do look a bit empty, but I can handle that. I'm seeing an awful lot of people compliment the combat, which is nice, but Bethesda has always had pretty janky combat. The best we basically had was Fallout 4, which at best was kind of just alright. So to see Starfield actually have some really nice combat, I look forward to messing around with that. And of course, thankfully, it is a Bethesda game, so we're going to get a helping hand full of bugs. And so far, they look pretty funny, but nothing game-breaking. So from what I've been hearing from people, is that the bugs are pretty funny, pretty weird, and they're just kind of on the more wacky side. Nothing game-breaking. Nothing annoying, and I love to see that. It's something I've been hoping for with this game to have no real bad bugs. And this might be the first Bethesda launch that actually goes quite smoothly when it comes to bugs. There's still a few, don't get me wrong, but for the most part it looks good. Performance seems to be really good even on the weaker Series S console, which is the one I have. It seems to be locked to that 30 FPS they did promise, and honestly the game still looks absolutely stunning on the platform. So that's a huge bonus in my books. I mean, don't get me wrong, because I haven't played it yet, there's a million things I'm wondering. What is this? What is that? What are these weird abilities people keep talking about? How's the weapon customization? Are there different modifications and attachments I should be looking at for? There's just a million questions I want to ask, and luckily I'm refraining from asking them so I don't spoil too much for myself. But overall, being honest, it just looks like a really solid title. It looks like people are actually enjoying it. I'm seeing around the 8, 9, 10 scores for different reviewers, which is always nice. Obviously, I'm always a bit iffy with reviewers because they also reviewed stuff like Cyberpunk as pretty good when obviously that game was broken at launch. But even from just YouTubers playing the game, it seems the general consensus is it's a pretty decent game, which is good. This is what I like to hear. I haven't seen too many I was underwhelmed by Starfield videos, which is nice. A lot of people do just seem to be singing its praises, which is great. It's nice to see Bethesda back on top. And honestly, I cannot wait to get my hands on it too. I'm so excited. Ship customization, I mean, we saw a ton of it before, but that still looks really good. I can't wait to know my base on certain planets and stuff. And yeah, so far, the game is just looking absolutely phenomenal. From what I've heard, building the traits for your character is actually really in-depth, and there's plenty of options you can actually pick to make your character your own. And to me, that sounds really exciting. I can't wait to make my character my character, give it its own custom background, and, you know, just have a lot of fun with that. I also can't wait to look at the factions. The factions look really cool so far. I kind of lose track of who's who, but I'm sure that when I get the game, that will shortly resolve itself. But so far, I do have to say, as I said a million times in this video already, the latest Bethesda game, it's looking pretty damn good, man. Pretty damn good. I've been thinking of it where I want to like set up my planet and stuff and my base. I'm like, do I want to go for a snowy planet in honor of Skyrim? Or do I want to go completely off the deep end with something totally new and different? So many decisions. But either way, I'm truly excited to get into it and actually start messing around with it. I'll have my hands on it very shortly. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for it, I will admit. I guess for now, I don't really have too much more to say. I just wanted to kind of talk about what I've seen from the game so far. And I know that you guys want my own personal opinion. And I am waiting to give it you, I promise. But I wanted to kind of get you a bit of a holdover video where I can comment on what I've seen from other people, as I said so far. So yeah, shortly you'll have my actual opinion on Starfield. I'm not sure whether I will do an initial impressions or just hit you with a full scale review. Um, I'm thinking full scale review because a lot of initial impressions have kind of been posted by other people, to be honest. But yeah, so far the game is looking like an absolutely fantastic entry into Bethesda's catalogue and I personally cannot wait to get my hands on it. Anyway though, thank you all so much for watching this video. Soon we will have more Starfield content on the way. I'm sorry I'm slacking and I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.